don't even like Donald Trump would come to his defense on that. So I'd say the president was playing chicken with the Biden administration, uh, and the attorney general jumped, and he's played right into um, uh, Trump's hands in terms of the 20. Uh, 22 uh, midterm elections and the 2024 things because now he has um, the grievance that he wants. So could this investigation possibly stop Donald Trump from running in 2024? Uh, no, only an act of God will stop him from running. Mm. It's only uh, uh, poor health. Look, he's going to run uh, just because he's ordinary. But you know, the really interesting thing Nick, is this. If he does win a run, and he will win, He's only allowed one term. He can't go two terms because the Constitution uh, limits him to two terms in office. He's already had one. So he'd be a lame duck president from the day he got into office. So that's a whole other story. I mean, the, the issue there would be who would be his vice president and all the rest of it. Uh, but look, uh, this is incredibly high drama. Uh, no one raids the home of a, a president uh, unless you have a good reason. And then when you get there and find out it's not a really very good reason, this idea that he holds nuclear weapons material. Look, when the president leaves the office, his menus become classified information, everything, whether it's secret, uh, top secret, or classified, or, or confidential. And that has to be declassified by the National Archivist. But for the archivist to go running to the, uh, the Department of Justice and say there is a document missing, or some documents seem to be missing, or there seems to be something wrong, based on an informant so the FBI ruled this entire project out based on the testimony of an informant. I, I wouldn't doubt if it's not a disgruntled member of the Trump family who got shaked or uh, shaken the wrong way or whatever it is. But uh, it's incredibly high drama in the United States, and it's setting the parameters for the next election. Uh, and the Democrats, for their part, they only have 12 weeks to indict this guy on something to turn these 20, uh, 22 elections around the midterms. But, yeah. uh, and I think Donald Trump is well on his way to uh, becoming the 47th president of the United States. All right. Well, there you go. And you're right, though. It is certainly high drama. Never a dull moment. Joe Siracusa, we have to leave it there. Thank you for joining okay, us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.